Welcome to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Now, many games feature some sort of health system. It can be displayed as a UI number, a red juicy bar, or in the case of games like The Legend of Zelda, Minecraft, or The Binding of Isaac, with hearts. And so that is the topic of today's video. Make heart containers using the Unity game engine and C Sharp. By the end of the tutorial, you will have a system that looks like this. The player will have a number of hearts containers, and by of course defeating monsters and or leveling up, he can acquire more heart containers. Depending on his amount of health, the containers will either be empty or red, juicy and full. Of course, we will also make sure that the player's health value does not exceed the number of heart containers. With that said, let's get started. So I have an almost empty Unity project opened up, with the exception of two sprites representing the heart containers. One is empty and the other is full. I'll begin by creating a new UI canvas and setting the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. This way, no matter how big or small our aspect ratio is, the UI will scale with it. I'll then make a UI image and drag and drop my red heart into the empty sprite slot. Let's say I wanted my character's maximum health to be equal to 10. So I'll duplicate the heart container, move it slightly to the right, and repeat this process until I have 10 red hearts in my scene. With that done, I'll create a new c -sharp script, call it health, and begin programming. I'll first of all make a public int variable called health. I'll then make another public int variable, this one named number of hearts. So when this is equal to 1, I should only have one heart container visible in my scene view. If this was equal to, for example, 4, then 4 heart containers would be visible, and so on. I'll now want to make an array of images, but to do so I first need to type using unityengine.ui. Now I can reference and tweak via script Unity's UI. So let's create the public images array and call it hearts. Finally, I'll create two sprite variables, one called full heart and the other empty heart. All right, now that we've created all of our variables, let's head back into Unity, create an empty game object called player and drag and drop our health script onto it. I'll begin by typing some default value for health and the number of heart containers. I'll then lock the inspector so I can quickly and easily drag and drop all my heart images inside of the array. Lastly, I'll drag and drop my red heart inside the full heart slot and the empty heart inside the empty heart slot. Back in MonoDevelop, I'll create a for loop inside my update function. Note that you can quickly generate the syntax for the for loop by hitting tab twice in a row on your keyboard. So I'll want this loop to run as long as my variable i is less than the number of hearts in my heart array, which is to say 10. With each iteration of the loop, I would like to check whether i is smaller than the number of hearts our player currently has. If i is smaller, then we want the heart of index i to be visible. So simply type hearts i dot enabled equals true. If however i is bigger than the number of hearts, then we would like those hearts in our array to be hidden. So I'll copy and paste this line of code and replace the true to false. Heading back into Unity, I can hit play and you'll see that because number of hearts is equal to 4, only 4 heart containers are visible. If I change this to 8, 8 hearts will display themselves, and so on. Let's now create another if statement inside the same for loop, this one checking whether i is smaller than the amount of health. Remember, i starts at 0 and increments of 1 every time the code inside this loop is run. So if i is smaller than the amount of health, 
when i is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, then we know our player has at least 1, 2, 3, 4 health, and so on. And so the heart sprite of index i will display a full heart. However, all heart images in our array with an index greater than i will have an empty heart sprite. Now, if all this loop and array talk is a little confusing, I highly recommend you check out two small videos I made a while back with my brother Liam on the topic. Lastly, we must make sure that our player does not have more health than his number of heart containers. Doing so is super easy. Just make an if statement and check whether health is greater than the number of heart containers. If that is the case, then all you must do is set health equal to the number of hearts variable. And now we can jump back into Unity, hit play and try out our newly established health system. So for example, let's say my player has seven heart containers, but took a serious beating by some wandering monster and only has two health five of which are empty and the first two red and full. Awesome! And that will mark the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful and will be able to implement this health system into your own creation. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to support Blackthorn Prod and get notified of new content released. Also consider following me on Twitter and joining the Blackthorn Prod Discord server for great game creation chats. With that said, have a great day, stay tuned, cheers.